Hello and welcome to this new video. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to use finger tape and how to properly wrap your fingers and your wrist to use in goalkeeper gloves. So I'm going to keep this video nice and short for you so that I don't overload you with the information and it just provides you with all the information you need to perform this properly so that you prevent injuries. So finger tape is used once again to prevent injuries and provide more structure to joints such as your wrist and your fingers. So I got this finger tape sent out to me by Pinnacle GK. So I'll leave a link down below to where you can buy it. I personally think this is the best tape to use as it's a, it's a bit stickier, it grips onto itself a lot better than other finger tape I've used. And it only costs something like £2.50 so it's really not bad at all. So for this video, obviously that you can get the white tape or you can use the black tape. In this video, I'm going to be using the white one just so you can see it a bit easier. So I'm going to start off by showing you how to wrap the finger joint. So what you want to do is start by pulling out about 10 centimeters of tape, like so, 10 to 15 centimeters. You don't want too much, otherwise it'll be too bulky on your finger. Then you can rip it or you can use some scissors just to cut it if you uh, struggle by ripping it. Then what you want to do is have your palm facing up towards you, lay the tape underneath. So I'm going to show you how to wrap my middle finger as it's the longest finger, so that's normally the one that gets injured. But it matches, um, I kind of change which fingers I uh, tape depending on injuries or which one uh, feels sore or something. So you can tape any of these fingers or even your thumb. The thumb is a bit tricky to tape, but I definitely recommend taping this uh, middle finger. So what you want to do, you have to have your palm facing upwards, place the tape underneath and almost trap it with your other finger like so. So it holds it in place and then wrap it round. And the key information with this is that you want to have it so that your joint is right in the middle of the tape. So what you want to do is pinch it, bring it round, kind of move your fingers out of the way and then slowly start to move it up and down along your finger just to provide the most structure. So as you can see, it doesn't have to be neat or anything. It just does the job by wrapping it around. So that is a perfect placement as my knuckle is right in the middle of the tape. So the kind of main tips that you want to take away from this, you want to keep make sure that your joint is in the middle of the tape so it provides the most structure either side of the joint. You want to make sure that it's not too tight so it's not being uncomfortable while wearing your glove. And also you want to make sure that you're not using too much tape so it's not too bulky. As when you're sliding on the glove, it could very easily kind of roll down and become really uncomfortable. So that's how to wrap the finger and now I'll show you how to wrap the wrist. So what you want to do is start off by pulling out about 20 to 30 centimeters of tape. So you, the reason you wrap your wrist is because a lot of goalkeeper gloves these days are have strapless wrist entries. So as you can see, this is the Adidas Predator Pro. There is a review on this on my channel, so go check that out down below. But as you can see, it hasn't actually got a wrist strap. And that means that there's not much support for your wrist as it's just this thin material in between your wrist and the uh, support. So that's why I think it's essential to wrap your wrists. So once again, what you want to do is grab out about 20 to 30 centimeters of tape. And it is quite an awkward thing to do, but what you want to do is lay the tape on a table. Once again, palm facing up, you want to lay your wrist on top of the tape, wrap it around like so, and then kind of pinch it around and then spin your wrist. So you're kind of doing this motion here, which then pinches the tape. And then it doesn't matter where you start, just try and get the tape around your wrist and then start to work up around the base of your hand and the top of your forearm. This is because all the bones in the wrists are around here, so you want to provide the most structure around there. So what you want to do is wrap it around about two to three times around your wrist and then start to work down. It doesn't matter too far how you, doesn't matter too much about how far you go down, but you want it probably a good four to five inches on your wrist, just to provide the most structure. Then once you're done, what you want to do is just simply rip it like so, or once again, use scissors to cut it if that's easier. So it is a bit easier if you have someone to help you or if that's a friend, a teammate or a coach, it's a lot easier if you get them to help you, but it is very doable by yourself. So this is one method of doing it. There is another method which provides a bit more structure by going over the thumb. So to do that, you can very easily add on to this, or if you started from scratch, just don't rip the tape. So once you have wrapped around your wrist a couple of times, what you want to do, is start by going around the back of your hand, so on the outside by your pinky, come up through your thumb like so. Make sure it's not too tight, because if it's really tight, it's really uncomfortable. So keep it nice and loose for now. Then come down, around, back through once again. And then I like to go back through once again, one more last time, and then finish off by going round. And that is how to successfully wrap your wrist and provide lots of structure for your thumb as well, as that just provides a lot more stiffness um, without giving you, without limiting the flexibility as you can still bring your hands down and back, but it just provides a lot more structure and support. So that is the way of wrapping your wrist and your finger. If you, if this video has been helpful, please leave a like down below. Also comment down below what kind of videos you'd like me to film. 
Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe if you're not here. Once again, if you'd like to purchase this finger tape, I'll leave a link down below to where you can buy it. Thank you very much to Pinnacle GK for sending this out to me. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.